This is part 108 of ASP.NET Core tutorial to integrate Facebook authentication in our ASP.NET Core application we have to first register our application with Facebook and obtain app ID and app secret we'll do that in this video and in our next video we'll actually integrate Facebook authentication to register with Facebook, navigate to this URL developers.facebook.com and then log in with your Facebook credentials. I'm going to use our test email prajimtest at gmail.com to log into Facebook. Once logged in, click on this My Apps drop down and then create app button. In the window that pops up, we have to specify a display name for our application. This is the name that is displayed to the user on the consent screen. I'm going to name this Employee Management Client. And then contact email. I am using the email that I used to log into Facebook. If you want to change, you can change it. Finally, click this button, Create App ID. Our new project is created and notice it is already selected in the drop down list right here and to this project we want to set up Facebook login so let's click the setup button right here on the left navigation menu we have Facebook login under products and under Facebook login we see settings let's click on that tab we need to enable this setting client auth login and notice it's already enabled so when we create a new app it's turned on by default and if we scroll down a bit we see valid auth redirect uris as the name implies this is the uri to which facebook should redirect the request after the user is successfully authenticated by facebook for us this is the url at which our application is hosted and at the moment our project is still running on our local machine so to get the URI at which this project is hosted you already know the drill go to the solution explorer right click on the project name and then get to the properties window click on the debug tab and we see the app URL let's copy this and paste it in this text box right here and to this we want to append sign in dash Facebook if you remember for Google this path was sign in dash Google finally click save changes button all that is left right now is to obtain the app ID and app secret for that expand settings here and then click on the basic tab we have app ID on the left right here and to reveal the app secret click show and provide your password there we go make a note of both of these because we need them in our next video when we integrate Facebook authentication in our ASP.NET Core application let's quickly recap the steps first create a new app if you don't have one already and then add the Facebook login product next enable client auth login setting this is anyway enabled by default for a new app and then include the redirect URI finally obtain the app ID and app secret that's it in this video thank you for listening